Hello everyone. So I just wanted to share about something, especially pertaining spiritual truths here. So I've been composing this, this words, what came through to me the past few months. And it's about truth and it's quite something I, I have that I just wanted to share. So it's about the fire of truth. The fire of truth is never comfortable. Did you know in the spiritual realm, there's literally a spirit of truth? I've come across that oftentimes in the past, especially in the past few years, while I was very active engaging in the supernatural. And the spirit of truth directs us to the truth. It's an entity, it's a being that directs us to the truth. And we can actually, you know, engage with that being, um, to say. And anything that you know coincides or anything that calls out the deeper truth which comes from engaging with the truth of god basically helps us engage as well with these beings so that's another thing but when the fire of truth comes it's never comfortable so the truth always hurts as it goes against what you used to perceive, what you were set to believe, and at the most spiritual truths you've awakened into will hurt deeper. At least for me. For me, my spiritual truth is much more important because I know the truth just puts me back to my eternal purpose, just puts me back into my original blueprint and expands my consciousness in an agape, a universal, an unfathomable way. And it could feel very lonely when you see the rest are not seeing what you're seeing or the great potential that you're seeing from them. It could really feel lonely. And it's really grieving, aggravating, heart-wrenching to oftentimes know certain truths and to grieve over the fact that you were lied to and that you walked in a blurry line and so you live in the mediocre life. And for some people, they say no regrets, but deep, deep down, you know, you've missed out a lot. And, and the only way to make it up or to make up for it is to stop regretting or to really live and embody the truth. And there are many levels and tribes of truth and the journey to discover it will lead you to a deeper reliance and trust in God and source. And so you will know you don't know everything. You will be humble, deeply humbled, and you will learn to see beyond human understanding. And in turn, you will receive spiritual and supernatural gifts and trade. And there's that bittersweet feeling on the other side that if you know that you've overcome this after grieving and holding into it, into the fog of war of the flesh and the spirit, making you weary and dried up you know when you keep going that it is for the best and you will never ever be the same again and you see some results and you just realize that you just have to go through that purging and keep keep going to reach the state of bliss to eventually heal it could be scary for many of us because we always fear the unknown who you are now will not be who you are a few years from now when you step and embody the truth and and many many of us will fear change and there will always be another route for you no matter what or where you're at once you value and seek and allow for the truth to penetrate you. So keep going.